he uh so he I'm sorry, did you say something in the chat room? No, I just I just read Peter's okay. uh, post. I thought it was cool. Okay, so um, Jonathan said, uh, wrote in and had this huge uh, long email uh, that I was I told him I was going to read and whatnot. And he was talking about um, he was talking about two like the two house theory and these kind of things. Somebody else sent him my dad's uh, or he found my dad's uh, article on the two house theory, three fatal flaws, which can be found on our website tourresource.com. Go there and look under the articles page. Anyway, not the point. Um, so then he wrote back and he said, let me restate my question now that I've read this and I think I understand the position better. Uh, this is the, I, I took a very small piece from his email and uh, I think this is the, the essence of his, of his question here. And if not, then Jonathan, please write me again. If we don't answer your question to your satisfaction, we'll try to get to it again. Um, he says, since the reunification of the two houses of Israel and Judah are a future event, do you see this reunification happening at the return of our Messiah? Or, as so many believe, do you see it occurring now with the progressive return to the land of the Jewish people? Yes. You know, I, I, I talked to my father about this, too. You can, nobody knows what tribe they're from. I know some people are like, oh, yeah, I'm from the tribe of Asher. I'm oh, from... I had a dream last night. Yeah, know. I know, exactly. Nobody knows what tribe they're from, so you can't say, oh, this person's from Judah and this person's from Israel. And even if you had the 12 tribes come back to Israel, as we're starting to see, right, we're starting to see the regathering back to the land of Israel. Okay, let's say if that happens, and let's say that, you know, let's even say that the 12 tribes are... Are uh, are found like we? I don't think they're lost, but they're they're found in terms of people realize what tribe they're from. Let's pretend that that happens miraculously, and the Messiah is not back yet. Do I think that all of a sudden we're going to have Judah and Israel? No, I think that we'll have Israel as the twelve tribes living in the land. Does that mean that that Judah and Israel has been reunified already? No, it doesn't. But we're never going to look at it right now and say, oh, Israel is this entity and Judah is this entity, as the two house proponents would have us believe. I don't believe that that's how it is. If, if, we, if we knew what tribes we were from, we would go back to the land and we would, we would be unified as the 12 tribes of Israel living in the land. Once the Messiah comes back, yes, we will have a reunification of Judah and Israel, but everybody will be unified under the, the banner of the King Messiah. And that will be done when the and when the the new covenant it comes to complete resolve, meaning that Israel as a nation comes and accepts the Messiah Yeshua and the Torah is written on their heart, as opposed to the remnant having the Torah written well, here's on their heart. Another way to think of it too: when Yeshua in, is at Matthew twenty-five, he says he's going to have all the nations and he's going to separate the goats from the sheep. Well. I'm going to just trust Messiah with the sorting process. And if he wants to assign me to a tribe, okay, whatever he says goes. If he says, yeah, exactly. you're, you're just a, a hick goy, then I'm going to say, Baruch great. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to let him. Uh, I see that as it, that's his prerogative. And I think back to, is it Psalm? What's the Psalm? Psalm 88. Where does it say, Zeulad Sham? Anybody know? Psalm. Uh, 87 or 88. Sorry, I don't. I should know. I should know <laughs> Adam better. says Hick Goy, great band name. <laughs> Hick Goy. Oh, that's a good one. 87. Yeah. Yeah. Psalm 87. It says, Yod Hevafe, Adonai Yispor Biktov Amim, Zeyulad Sham, Selah. The Lord is the one who writes the the registers of the people. And if he says this one was born there, yeah, that means in, in Jerusalem, this one was born there. Who's going to tell him, who's going to argue actually, he was, you know, no, it's like he, he's going to define people's citizenship because he's the king and that's his prerogative. And I'm, I'm okay. Not knowing I'm okay. I, you know, I don't, feel like I need to anxiously figure out some identity politics so I know which group out here on earth I need to identify with because of a tribal affiliation. I'm, I, to me, it just it doesn't seem like 
That seems more than at least a distraction, but that's my limited experience. Oh, okay, wait, hang on just a sec. Peter says something in the chat room, and maybe this hits more to what Jonathan's question was. Peter says, the, uh, I believe the great, greater argument for Israel identity is not that a particular person is identified. That's kind of crazy, but that the origin of the nation traces its roots to that identity, British and U.S., for purposes of prophecy. At least that is their argument more than personal identity. Okay, if that's the case, originally I don't believe that that God, you know, now I know the the people who have who have uh, uh, said that I'm totally out to lunch on this have said, of course it was God's plan. God knows all, obviously, but God's God made one nation. He made one nation. It was supposed to have one king, and that one king was Yeshua the Messiah. That's it, right? And, but the people wanted a king anyway. They said, oh, give us a king, give us a king, right? Okay, so not the point. It, it, was, it was the disobedience of Israel that split Israel and Judah. The original identity of the nation is under God as one nation. It's not split. And this is why I think in Jeremiah 31, you have, you have, uh, you have, he's, he's talking about, Jeremiah is talking about Israel and Judah, and this is how he's seeing it at the time that he's writing. And then when the new covenant comes in, all of a sudden Judah's gone and it's just one nation again. Go ahead, Rob. I see that you have something to say. No, I was just, no, John just posted. He said, well, he's, he's not asking about the identity, the affiliation. The tribal for individual, if I'm understanding him correctly, uh, his his point is not to emphasize individual affiliation with this or that tribe, but rather thinking in terms of the timing of the event. And so, uh, I guess well, uh, the reason I this goes back, maybe I didn't point that out, but the reason I was thinking about Matthew 25 is because Yeshua says that gives us the timing and the sorting together. Now, granted, when he says separating sheep from goats. He doesn't use the word tribe there. I, I get that. But the idea is you have a, an event that is in the future where there is this sorting going on. And, but again, I'm happy with not, you know, not knowing detail. You know, here's the, here's the thing. And maybe, you know, I could be, uh, I'm more than happy to be corrected on this. And, and maybe I will be corrected on this. I don't understand why people are so focused on this idea of Judah and Israel. It was something that was going on at a period of time that the prophet, prophets were prophesying. They were seeing two entities. They were seeing Israel and, and, and Judah. So it's only natural. It's just like if I would, like, actually, I don't even want to put, let's say that some prophet arises today, okay? And he's, and he's talking about different things, and he says, the U.S. and Israel, okay? Now, He's not saying that they're together, but he's just prophesying. Well, in 100 years, the U.S. is no more. It's all Mexico. Mexico is taking over everything. Are people going to look back and say, oh, well, you know, make this a big deal? I mean, the prophets talk about nations all the time that, that were in, in their time period that are no more. So I don't understand why, why I, and maybe you can tell me, Rob, I don't understand why people are making such a huge deal out of Judah and Israel. The prophets were prophesying according to what they saw. It's, it's not. I don't understand why it has to be some huge ordeal now that we look and we're looking for Judah and we're looking for Israel. It's it's one nation. It's God's nation. It's God's people.